Hi, welcome to the video series about uh, coping with scientific literature in your research writing and publishing. I am Dr. Petar Milovanovic, a biomedical researcher from University of Belgrade, and here I will give you some hints on how to read scientific literature efficiently. So, from my own experience, and I see that also in many young researchers especially, there is a belief that uh, during literature search, every time we should read entire scientific article. Uh, while we can certainly get a lot of information by doing so, this is a slow process and it's time consuming, and many times you become frustrated when you come across a difficult part of the text, maybe some method that you don't understand, and actually you don't even need to, uh, and so on. So, whether you will read the entire text of the article or not uh, depends on what you want to gain uh, from reading that article. So, sometimes you really want to read the article from the first to the last word, and this is mostly when you find an excellent review article that nicely summarizes the entire research topic of your interest and gives you a great overview of the research field. This is certainly a huge time saver for you and you will read that article from the beginning to the end. Also, sometimes uh, you come across a recent research article on a very similar topic uh, and of direct interest for what you are doing at the moment. And then you say, oh my god, these people did uh, something very similar. And then you really want to know what they did exactly. Uh, how different their approach was and you want to see whether your research work is still novel, whether it can still be justified and whether it will be publishable. So you really want to read that, that, that kind of articles. However, most of the time you will be reading just uh, parts of the text. But there are two most common ways, I call them literature scanning and selective reading. In uh, literature scanning, what you will be doing is actually you will be reading just the titles and the abstracts of, of the articles and in this case your intention is to get an idea about the current state of the art and about current uh, hot research topics, let's say. Uh, on the other hand, in, in, in the case of uh, selective reading, you will be looking only for specific information in the text of the article. For example, you may be interested in, in, in the sample preparation, or you may be interested in, in some uh, details about study participants, like uh, age range, age distribution, uh, what were inclusion and exclusion criteria, Maybe you're interested in a particular method and you want to see how uh, the other authors uh, use the method, which parameters and uh, which conditions uh, they, they use during using that method or technique. Or sometimes you may be interested in, in the statistical approach and you want to get some specific information from the article and this is just what you will do, so you won't really read uh, the other other things in the articles. So, uh, to conclude, to read literature efficiently, you should be aware of what you want to get from the article and that will certainly help you decide whether you want to read the entire text of the article or just some parts. I hope this was helpful for you and I invite you to see the next video in the series that will be dealing with how to search scientific literature successfully.